Alright guys, welcome to the video today. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the Taken King exotic sniper rifle called the Hereafter. Um, so I'm going to be going over the perks first and then going into my experiences with it uh, in PvP so far. Um, so the first perk is called the Hereafter and crouching increases scope zoom and makes it a lot easier to aim under fire. The second perk is called the Perfectionist and the magazine is refunded if all shots fired are precision kills. And then in the three choice row, so three different perks and you can only have one of them um, active at a time. The first one is Snapshot. The second one is Injection Mold, which makes it so you have increased stability, faster handling, uh, but reduced range. And then the final one is Speed Reload. And then the final perk um, that's separate, not in the row of three, is a Blinding Light. So precision kills with this weapon have the chance to cause a bright flash that can blind nearby enemies. So when you kill someone, it's going to spawn a little orb, and uh, it's going to disorient the people around them. Personally, I don't find it that useful in PvP. It seems like it's more or going to be more of a PvE thing, or maybe if you get a headshot while someone's on a control zone. Um, or, you know, not a 3v3 type playlist uh, type of perk or oriented perk. Uh, but, you know, going into my experiences with it so far in PvP, it feels like a pretty nice gun. I mean, like, I want to like it a lot, uh, but it's kind of hard to do so. Of course, the impact isn't high enough. Um, so you can't one-shot someone off of revive. So as far as Trials of Osiris goes, um, I don't think you're going to be seeing this gun that much. Uh, the scope on it is all right. Um, you know, I'm so used to pre-taken King scopes that any scope that isn't like ambush or short gaze um, or like taxes or anything like that, it just feels weird to me. Um, not to mention most of the scopes within this DLC are kind of like... Um, like, you know, you know, like the Amalan, uh, the Amalan scopes and uh, all that stuff, like the reticles are really big and they all, they're all futuristic looking and personally I don't like them that much. This one I think is probably my favorite scope out of all the Taken King ones um, and uh, with that said I don't really even like it that much. Um, but from what I've played with the Taken King scope, this seems to be uh, my favorite one so far. The aim assist is pretty nice. I'm not quite sure what the exact value is of it. Um, but from when I was playing, I found it decently easy to hit headshots. Um, it was a little bit harder than, say, something like a Shadow of Veils. But nonetheless, um, it was still uh, a decently high aim assist weapon, especially for not being um, of the same archetype as something like an LDR or Longbow. But from what I've played, um, you know, it aims in pretty quickly, a lot quicker than uh, something like an LDR or a longbow would. Um, you know, it seems, I don't know, like I, li I, I, want to, I want to enjoy it so much, but it's kind of hard to do that because it takes up an exotic slot. And, you know, if a sniper isn't going to be better than the roll on your LDR, so you have like a short gaze, firefly, perfect balance, or send it or something LDR, then there's really no point in using this weapon. Uh, because this seems to be more of like a novelty to have it, kind of like, um, yeah, I have the Hereafter, I can use it from time to time, but if you want to actually play against good players, um, you're going to want to roll with something like a Red Death and LDR, or a Red Death and a Shotgun, etc. Um, so personally, it's a really good, uh, you know, solid sniper. The impact isn't quite high enough to one-shot off Revive. Um, it aims in pretty quickly. The scope is alright. Um, the aim assist is not too hefty, but it's also pretty nice as well. Um, but personally, I don't think it's worth worth an exotic slot. Um, I'd definitely roll with something like an LDR or a Longbow, or even the 1,000 yard stare, which you get from uh, completing the Taken King storyline, which I have not the, had the time to complete yet, and I look to complete that soon and uh, start using that sniper because it looks really, really good. Um, but that's going to wrap it up for the video today. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to drop a like down below and subscribe so you do not miss any type of video in the future. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.